Hey guys, uh, happy Thursday. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I just wanted to talk a little bit in this video about what yin and yang is. I know everybody's seen that picture of a yin yang symbol. It has the black, the white, um, opposite colored circle in each one. Yin yang is duality. It's polarity. Um, in everything there is duality. We live in a dualistic world. So where there's light, there's darkness. Where there's good, there's bad. Um, it's a balance. There's always going to be the opposite thing. Um, because you need to learn both sides. You need to see both sides in order to balance those things out so that you can come to a nice state where nothing's becoming too problematic and nothing's becoming too delusional either. Uh, so yin yang is light, dark, as above, so below, as within, so without, as the soul, so the universe. It is everything. It is good, bad, masculine, feminine, uh, happy, sad. It's it's everything. You can find it everywhere. Uh, I urge people to kind of look at these things with a new perspective, something that maybe they wouldn't have thought about before. Yin yang, you can jump into a really, really deep rabbit hole if you want to, and it's a lot of fun. Um, everybody has yin and yang within themselves. Every zodiac sign has a yin energy and a yang energy to it. Um, so this is, is kind of funny. So for instance, I'm a Pisces. Uh, there's a yin and there's a yang energy to it. Pisces can be very compassionate, loving, endearing, caring, all that fuzzy stuff. But they can also be very uh, vague and they rule illusions. So they can kind of be escapists too. We can be really good liars, so be careful. Uh, but there is a transformative energy to it and then there is a uh, energy where you can give in to uh, the, the other side to it, the darkness, I guess. Um, but so everybody has shadows and everybody has light too. There's good aspects and there's potentially problematic aspects to everybody. Uh, but that's what balances us out. That's what makes us perfectly imperfect. We are always perfect and we are always balanced. It's the thought, the illusion, and the perspective that society has impressed upon us of their idea of what perfection and balance looks like that makes us feel imbalanced and imperfect. Uh, but I know that might be kind of out there to grasp, but you're perfect and maybe you never thought about yourself like that, but you're, you're perfect uh, always. So enjoy that part and kind of lay off yourself a little bit and understand that maybe you're walking a tightrope tight rope, and you might lean this side a little bit more one day and you might lean this way a little bit more one day, but you're always, you're still on the tightrope. Uh, so that's a little bit about what yin yang means to me. Uh, that's all I'm really gonna go into about it today. It's a huge topic that I'll jump into a little bit more in a later video and go a little bit longer on it. Um, but if you guys wanna do some research on it, it's a lot of fun. Um, or even try and finding yin yang in your everyday and maybe within yourself, which is really important. Um, finding where you can add a little bit more light to or where you can add a little bit more contrast to and see your shadows and don't necessarily judge them but just understand that they're a part of you and they're they need love too. Um, so as always thank you so much for liking and subscribing and sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll be putting more stuff out. I'll link everything down below in uh, in the description as like my contact. If you want to email me, if you're going through something and you want somebody who can relate to you because I probably can, shoot me an email. I'll be happy to answer. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll talk about sessions that I offer with Theta. Um, you know, whatever works for you. So thanks again. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. As always, I'm sending unconditional love through every cell in your body and have a wonderful night. Thanks.